I've got a legitimate medical reason. You must be so proud. I forgot it. I guess it's no big deal, since I was only using it as an excuse to come check out Patty and Selma. Well, I feel bad. I haven't named your testicles. Word on the street is you set a new personal best for low cut. I don't know why you chose to give them the names of somebody's aunts. It's a compliment. They're always smoking. Oh, I remember. I need you to authorize the medical discharge of a minor. That's why I'm holding this in my hand. I haven't finished testing yet, but it's... Your outbox is three times normal size. It's not a metaphor. There's a lot to be done before the weekend. You should take papers home with you. Unless you're not going to be home. Unless you were, for example, going to a medical conference. I'm driving up with Wilson. Me too. You aren't on the registration list. I love that you checked. But Wilson said... That I have a case? Yeah. You're authorizing the discharge right now. That was a metaphor. Why are you reading my program guide? It's not like you plan on attending any of the presentations. I'd like to know how much boredom I'm missing. Patient perceptions of complications in end-stage chemotherapy. You didn't tell me you were giving a paper. And that was wrong? Last time you presented a paper, you gave me an advanced copy and asked for feedback. And you're wondering why I wouldn't want to repeat that experience? Well, look, an 80s party. Just when you think you've left a flock of seagulls behind in your rear view mirror, suddenly it's up ahead like an undead hitchhiker. Cuddy's going. Did you pack my leg warmers? If you want her, ask her out. My God, man. Not some floozy in a bar. Just the floozy I work for. Got to be no radical steps here. Got to be subtle. We happen to attend the same party. We chat happens to turn personal. Like the frog and gradually boiling water. Exactly. She'll be red and delicious before she knows it. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Sure. They weren't specific. How much did it cost you to rent that? It was in Wilson's bag. <laughs> Dr. Perlmutter, I read your article on neural degeneration. Well, you didn't really take that seriously, did you? I just wrote that for the money. Well, hey there, Jane Fonda. Would you care to dance your size? Sorry, we were just about to hit the floor. Thank you. You like? I'm okay. As long as you don't expect rhythm. Last time we danced, med school, week we met. No. I saw you, endocrinology. Tracked you down to the hoedown. I meant we met before that, in the bookstore. Ah. Uh. My third day of school, I hand my syllabus to the guy behind the counter. He barely looks at me, just skims the sheet and tells me I'm overly ambitious, I have a chip on my shoulder, and I know how to party. <laughs> I'd forgotten you knew how to party. <laughs> I said, you're making that up. And you said your class schedule is overloaded, but none of your classes are before 11, and no one takes Professor Lamb's course unless they have something to prove. Because Professor Siegel covered the same ground it was the easier grader. I tried to you, Dad. Endocrinology. One thing led to another. And then it didn't. I wasn't gonna call you. No. Don't do that. There was no expectations. I was just as interested. I was gonna come see you. Figure out where things would go from there. That was the morning I got the call from the dean and I was expelled from my first med school and it didn't seem any point. 
I should go to my room, review papers for the infectious disease panel. Isn't the MRSA panel going on? We got kicked out. She started crying. Yeah, well, discussions of urinary catheterization will do that to me, too. The babysitter had an emergency. Oh, how did you like 80s night? Has talked with you? I was being subtle about it. You left suddenly. I know house can be a little much sometimes. Well, he was sweet. It's no better than to rely on that. He's trying. Yeah, I know. I'm a mother now. I need a guy I can count on every single day. This has never been house. Oh, I thought you were room service. <clears throat> Something going on with your patient? It's quiet in there. Is Rachel asleep? I thought maybe you could use a babysitter. Actually, I've got her in daycare downstairs. Oh. Great. Maybe later. This is awkward. A bit. That awkwardness would probably go away if I left. So, how'd you two crazy kids hook up? I suspected someone in accounting was skimming money, and I wanted to investigate quietly, and since you introduced me to the only detective I know. One thing leads to another. Why keep it a secret? You protecting me in my fragile state? Think I was an unhinged loony who was about to go off the rails at a badly timed bit of news? I just don't advertise my personal life. I needed help with a baby. Lucas drove up. Yeah, she was worried. A little worried, as a friend. I had to hide in our room and be the dirty little secret. Kind of sucked. I told her it wasn't necessary, so you had, you had some hallucination about having sex with her. I don't think we need to talk. I mean, I imagine having sex with women all the time. No big deal. Though I guess if they knew what I imagined, it could get awkward. Yeah, I guess it's different because in the fantasy, she was your savior. But I mean, that was months ago, right? All, all the work that you had to do to get straight. You've been institutionalized. You've had way bigger stuff to deal with. I should shut up. Can I buy you a ginger ale? Ginger ale be good, with lemon. Infection's clearing. He looks like a guy who'd be there every day. Minibar is restocked. I say we grab some pretzels for the road. When you do what I did, it's not enough to tell yourself you did nothing wrong. You need to hear it from someone else. If not God or society, a friend. Otherwise, you go crazy. What you said to me up there. Thank you. You're a good friend. God, you should know that. Yeah. You should let her know that I drugged you so you wouldn't confess to murder. Let's get out of here. Someone could have recognized you. First U.S. conference I've attended in 15 years. Pearl Butter? Toronto. All weekend. Airtight alibi. 